Hey everyone, Ben M here again, and today we are going to be reviewing something that I purchased uh, from an individual uh, after um, seeing their work on a Facebook group. Uh, this person's name is Chelsea Griffith, and uh, basically, uh, this person does some uh, wood etchings, I believe, uh, is what it's called, and uh, basically it's artwork uh, made in wood um, from or Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and it looks pretty darn good. Honestly, for something that's handmade and uh, the person's been doing it for just a few months, from what I understand at this point. And uh, so, yeah, uh, I decided to give it a shot and uh, prob probably do some uh, publicity for the person at the same time. Uh, so, after contacting the person, the person was very, very uh, nice, uh, very polite and everything. Um, and so, I decided to actually give this a shot. Um, so, yeah. Let's see what it looks like. Obviously, I uh, ordered a drawing of something I'm a little more familiar with. So uh, I decided to go for um, a card that you guys probably already know what to expect. I went for a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. So let's see how it looks. So I guess this is uh, the symbol the person chose to represent their, um, I guess, their company or whatever it is. And uh, here we have the date of uh, fabrication, I guess. And voila. Wow, okay. This is not bad at all. Of course, I saw a picture before uh, it was shipped to me. Um, but, you know, pictures don't really go as well as, you know, seeing it with your own eyes. But, uh, yeah, this is very good. Like, honestly, there is attention to details. Very, very nice. So these were, um, I guess they were advertised as uh, field centers because uh, nowadays we have uh, the two link zones or extra monster zones and uh, these would fit perfectly in the middle, uh, in between those two things. So uh, very, very detailed, very good work. Uh, there is a gloss from uh, applying a thin coat of uh, varnish, I guess. Uh, very nice. Honestly, I do recommend it. Um, I believe the price was about $10 US, and uh, there is a shipping fee of like $3 if you're within the US. Uh, I'm from Canada, so it was about $10. So honestly, for that amount, uh, it's not a bad purchase, honestly. Um, I'm pretty satisfied. I would use this in uh, games, but obviously I'm probably just going to put it in my collection at this point. Uh, I have this little obsession collecting these ghost girls, so this is going to look beautiful in my collection room, for sure. Uh, but if you guys want to use those as um, field centers, I know the person does a lot of different models. Uh, I saw a Cyber Dragon, I saw a Masterpiece, uh, I've obviously Ghost Ogre. Um, there were quite a few other uh, that I've seen, and the person does take special requests uh, from what I've seen before. So, um, yeah. Honestly, um, I thought there would be some contact info or something, but uh, this is as much as I can show you guys. So, Chelsea Griffith, uh, try to find the person on Facebook, I guess, if you want to contact them for a, um, for something, uh, like an order or something. Hey, why not give it a shot? It's pretty fun, and honestly, it's nice to encourage people who, um, you know, put their soul into the game enough to actually make uh, some artwork of it. And it takes a lot of courage and practice and, you know, skills to actually go this far and uh, take on some special requests too. So, uh, yeah. But this video would not be complete without opening our special challenge pack. Uh, we've got this challenge going where we open some Cross Souls packs until we pull the Ghost Rare First Edition uh, Clear Wing. So uh, let's open a few packs, and who knows, maybe we'll pull a Ghost Ogre, because we haven't pulled a secret out of this box yet. And uh, we'll keep going until we pull something today. And um, overall, the challenge will go on until we do pull that Ghost Rare. So uh, let's see what we get. Putrid Pudding, Zephyr Saber, Chosen, and Jim, Junk Anchor, and No Foils. So yeah, one pack is not enough. We've... Only opened some mail today, so let's try and see until we pull a foil at least. At least, you know? Designer Fightfa. 
Void Purification, and oh, we've got a foil, Harpy Harpist. Uh, so this is pretty neat. Obviously, the artwork is swell, but uh, Harpies are going to be getting some new support pretty soon. Oh, we've got this uh, short print too. So new support is pretty nice. Uh, I wouldn't say it's game defining or anything, but the new support that's been released in the OCG does look pretty dope, and uh, honestly, it's going to be coming over pretty soon, I guess. Oh, you know what? We only have two packs left on this side. We'll finish that side today. We've still got a lot of time. The video barely just started. Let's give this uh, set a little more time, you know? We've got Melodious Illusion, but no foils. And in our final pack today, we have... Formapal and no foils. Well, okay, so for this one side, the first side of the challenge, we've pulled uh, one Ultra, one Super, and a second Super. So, three foils from one side, that's pretty okay, I guess. I mean, there are 12 packs on one side, and usually you get one foil per three packs, so I guess the other side is going to be pretty lucky. But for now, this concludes this video for today. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do give a um, a chance to this person if you do uh, want to have a customized field center made in some pretty decent wood, honestly. Like, this is some pretty good quality wood and some very good quality art. So yeah, if you do have an interest in this, do contact the person personally. Um, I don't have any more information than their name because I contacted them after seeing their artwork, so I was already on their Facebook page. Uh, but yeah, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, guys, it's been a pleasure, and Penem out.